about seven cards. So Mr. Pat Wright, followed by April Wakeman, followed by Robert Tennyson of the Yurok Tribe. Go ahead, sir. And I do have a PowerPoint. I am Pat Wright with LegalizeFerrets.org. How do I get it to go? Thank you very much. Good job. Um, oh, my glasses. Excuse me. Uh, my mother used to tell me, you can't fight City Hall. And I hope what she meant is, don't expect it to be an easy job, because it hasn't been. Someone else once said, the truth shall set you free. And not being a religious person, I still believe that statement is very valid. Last we were told, um, regarding ferret legalization, President Kellogg said that you've covered this issue four or five times in the past ten years, weren't going to do so anymore. Mr. Kellogg, do I have that correct? Oh, I'm asking you, do you stand behind that? I mean, is that, did I get you correctly? Okay, good. All right, well, I've been around a long time, long enough to look at PowerPoint, and uh, I don't recall it being on the agenda. So I did a Public Records Request Act, which took 30 days to be filled, and that's what I got. The last time Ferrets was on the Fishing Game Commission agenda, uh, two items back to back, the February 3rd and 4th agenda, 2000, uh, followed by the April 6th and 7th agenda. Um, there it is. I asked them to go back 10 years, but they had to go back 12 years. Uh, in the spirit of full disclosure, I got some uh, Word Perfect documents. I did sue the commission back way back when, but it was never on the agenda. So on the February 3rd, it looked like we were being taken seriously and making progress in front of the commission. Uh, it moved back to April 6th where the department said um, the proponents had to fund an EIR, uh, which we did the bones to it, a preliminary EIR report, and was submitted in September and submitted in uh, December. We worked, Dr. Geo Graining performed it. Um, December 16th, no response, last month basically told to go away. So my question is, um, First of all, Mr. Kellogg was not on, on the commission at that time. Why is this such a big issue? Why is ferret something that uh, information is fabricated? Why won't you take this seriously? And how do the other commissioners feel about the ferret issue? I mean, are you, are you proud of how the commission is treating the citizens of California on this issue? Would someone care to answer? Okay, well, I drove three hours to get here. An answer I, I would be am going to make a comment, though. Thank you. If you would have read the entire substance of the Public Information Act you requested, you would see that that fair discussion has been held a minimum of 12 times by this commission over the years. Okay, and where, where is as that? As well as in, in, in executive session, so. Can you kindly point out where? You got a copy of the public information. Twice, 2000, request. 12 years ago. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm all ears. I'm not going to argue with you. You got a copy of the request. You can learn to read it, and you'll see that we have discussed ferrets a minimum of 12 times. Two times show up in pub public records request act before you were president, before you were even on the commission. Can I find out from the other commissioners? I mean, I spent a lot of time and a lot of money to get up here. How do you guys feel about how the ferret issue is being treated for Californians? Mr. Rogers, Mr. Sutton? Your time's up. Rick Thalhammer. You want to say anything Yes, I do. You, you want to come back? Yes. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. I, I think there's a couple of things that, that, that maybe we can help you understand. All right. First of all, you're proceeding as if a, an action taken by the commission 
almost 12 years ago, is still valid today. I, I suggest that, that given the fact that even you recognize commissioners change, attitudes change, different people are on the commission now, what they said back then was for you to follow a certain procedure, which you didn't do, which you haven't done. No, we have done it now. No, you I didn't. I, I beg, beg to differ. Unless you can explain, you got together with your opponents, with all the people that they suggested back then. Yes, Dale Steele. They all agreed to your approach? Yes. Dr. Gio Branding at Sacramento State University, Dale Steele, and a little input from John Fisher. All right. But the, the, the point I guess I'm making is that for you to rely on action 12 years later and come back and say, well, gee, you guys said to do this, so here we are. Now you should be still doing what you said you'd consider 12 years ago. These are different gentlemen, okay? They have different points of view. The, the response you're not getting should tell you that you have work to do behind coming or instead of coming to this public forum and, and berating the commission for not agreeing with you, they don't agree with you. If you can't catch that, their silence should indicate that. So you need to do different things than what you're doing. You can continue to do this, a public forum, but I think the results should, should at some point inform you that this repetitive approach of castigating the commission, asking them questions, and so forth, you're getting a response that you're not reading, okay? And well, I feel offended as a citizen of California that they didn't even answer the first issue. I mean, the door is closed 100%. This is not public service. They should say, we need you to do this, that, or this. They were just saying, no way. And I'm sorry, it's a fabrication. You know, President Kellogg said they've dealt with it. Now it's a dozen times. It used to be four and five. He hasn't seen the issue, you know, in open session you know, since he's been on the commission. I don't understand. I, I, I think what they're telling you is they don't agree that ferrets should be legalized. Well, we should be allowed to present data. They will not allow it. They're legal in 48 states. Why is California so different? That, that, that is not a subject they're prepared to engage you on. I, I don't find they're, that public service. That's fine. We disagree, sir. Well, thank okay, you for answering Salke. my question. Sanke. Yes, thank you, Commissioner. Sanke, Master of Fish and Game. Um, as your technical staff, um, in fact, I would like to remind uh, the audience that the commission actually gave very specific direction, which was that uh, based on our input, which is that uh, someone needed to prepare a full environmental impact report on the proposal. Um, to this date, the department has not seen any document that remotely approaches something that would satisfy that requirement under CEQA. And that, that was very clear direction, and we're still waiting for that. So okay. just to be clear. That's not fair, because it was presented by, by Dr. Graining at Sacramento State in September. I gave 11 copies in December. Excuse me, that was not a CEQA document. That was just I a summary of literature. I have a CEQA document. We have not seen it. I can give it to you right now. That would be great. Next speaker. Okay, I think we're going to go on. Next speaker. Um.